Hi, Scorpio. This is a general reading that could benefit any sun, moon, or rising Scorpio. And so we can take a look at the cards, get a sense of the energies, messages, or insights so that we can navigate the month of December. So before I get into the reading, I just wanted to mention, because I've been thinking about it a lot, December is such a busy month for many people. It's the end of the year. It's the holidays, travel plans. We have uh, commitments, obligations, parties, tons of food. So do what you can to um, maintain your energy levels and your you know emotional levels as well, because we can all feel a little bit stressed out with having to get everything coordinated and done by certain deadlines and time frames. So uh, just make sure you take care of yourself. So I'm going to pull a Celtic cross and then I will uh, select an oracle card for love and an oracle card for like a uh, contemplation point or focus for the month as well. And I've already shuffled quite a bit off camera. I'll just give it a few more shuffles and then I will cut the cards. Okay. Okay. So in your current situation, you have the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is a water sign. So that's a Cancer Scorpio and Pisces. And with the Ten of Cups, we get a sense of uh, a happy family. So your focus may be on your family and the abundance and the joy. You can see the children here and you can see, um, you know, the cups in the rainbow in the sky. And they're kind of grateful for the life that they have there with the community. So this is a very positive card of family and of love and of commitment and of happiness at home. What's crossing you is the magician. So the magician is a card of uh, really new beginnings for you. That you have been blessed and you have been given skills and um, uh, abilities to get things done within your life. And so you are the magician. You are the chief alchemist. You make the magic within your life. You create the life that you want. The universe has provided you with all of the uh, tools necessary. And you can see the tools are on the magician's table. And so it's up to you to find the things that define you and your passions and your desires. And so you're thinking about manifesting, uh, whether it's a new relationship, whether it's something related to your career or new hobbies, um, writing a book perhaps. You know, this is about um, having faith in your abilities. And the one thing to mention about the magician is this requires some action plan. If you sit and dream about it all day, um, it may never come to fruition. So it's beginning, you need to start to move the wheels into, you know, get things into motion to manifest and create the magic within your life. So in your foundation, you have the Ace of Cups, another water sign of Cancer Scorpio and Pisces. And this is a gift or blessing from the universe. And it's saying you are on tap for a deep and enriching emotional experience. Often this is related to love, that you have the opportunity for love within your life that is, uh, creates joy and happiness at home. If you're in a relationship, it can strengthen and deepen your relationship. So this um, Ace of Cups, it's the love and the emotions are spilling over. And so your heart is really spilling over. So in your foundation, you're feeling this desire to have, um, you know, a deep emotional connection with someone, a loving bond, a loving energy. And your recent past is the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is a card about family and legacy. And again, it goes toward abundance and security and happiness at home. 
So in many ways, it's kind of, um, it kind of fits nicely with the Ten of Cups. You know, we have two family cards here. One is more focused on finances and um, security and, so not this one, it's this one, <laughs> security at home and ensuring that your uh, elders are taken care of as the children are taken care of too. So this may be keeping your eyes on, uh, uh, on the money that's coming in and to making sure that everything is uh, staying organized. So it's just being very much aware of, of um, uh, your house of finances and your resources as well. What's crowning you is the strength card. So the strength card is a beautiful card because it's about um, having the inner strength to do whatever it takes in your life to reach your goals, to accomplish things, to uh, handle adversity. You know, we have our heart muscle and the heart is very strong and the heart is very courageous. And so you see the courage here. The woman is gently um, holding on to the lion's face. And so this is really a sense of using soft control in order to move forward instead of using, you know, relying on your animal instincts of to rush in and maybe use force. This is truly about gentleness and kindness can also, um, create victories within your life. You know, it's a sign of strength to be able to show compassion and to be vulnerable as well. So really this is a card telling you that you have the inner faith to reach your goals and to do the things necessary to make those goals. In your near future is the six of wands. And again, we're getting a real clear picture here of, of winning. And this six of wands, we see the man uh, riding into town and he's got his victory wreath on his wands. And this wand energy is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is a card of, of again, of making your goals, of making your dreams, reaching your dreams and doing it through hard work. And the people here watching him come into town on his horse, you know, they're thinking, what can I do to be like him? So for you, Scorpio, you are going to be rewarded. Could be at the office. Maybe you get a promotion. Maybe you get uh, a positive email from a boss or supervisor or a colleague. And you are uh, aware that you're in your so kind of soaking it in, soaking it up of reaching your goals and, and celebrating it. It's to be celebrated. So this is a very positive card that's coming to you in the near future. Where you are right now, and we can really just say that love is on the horizon for you. The Two of Cups. And this is, uh, you know, what you're thinking about is you're thinking about love and you're thinking about the opportunities and the hope for a very bonded and deep relationship. You can see that there's a lot of equality in this illustration. They're kind of standing at the same height and you know, this is a very loving, uh, loving opportunity. You click with someone, you finish their sentences, you simply have a great time with them. And it really doesn't matter what you do or where you are. You don't have to impress each other. You're just happy being, and that's the two of cups. And so between the two of cups oops, and the ace of cups, you know, the emotional piece is coming through that this, your desire for commitment and for love and for family and for meeting someone to really connect with and have that emotional bond is very, very present. In your environment, we have the ace of wands. And again, this ace of wands dovetails nicely with the magician card which is this card is a gift or blessing from the universe. And it's telling you to go forth and to create, to build something, to come up with new ideas for business, to come up with a new approach, to find 
um, find things that really speak to your passions and your enthusiasms. And life is short. Go out there and take a step, write something down, make a phone call that's going to encourage you to create and to be inspired. And that's what the Ace of Wands brings. Your hopes and fears, we have the Queen of Cups, another water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, and this queen is a loving, compassionate, nurturing queen. You're really getting a lot of deep love that's sincere, that's unconditional. She's intuitive, so whether this is you and you're offering these qualities, whether you meet someone like this within your circle, you know, this is a of, of going with the flow type of energy and of being really uh, intuitive into people's emotions and their feelings and understanding like the temperature of a room. If it was at a party or something, you would kind of get a sense of where people are coming from. So she's full of love. And again, it's, uh, it falls in nicely with the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups because it's this reinforcement of emotional connection and love. And in your outcome is the 10 of wands. The 10 of wands is a fire sign and that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And so you see this fella is pushing these wands up the street and he's very close to his completion. He's quite strong. And so are you, uh, cause you know what? You have the strength card in your reading. You are strong in not only physical sense, but in a, uh, inner fortitude sense, but there's something to be said with this card, which is too much responsibility on your plate, too much work that you're taking on creates a burden, creates exhaustion and can create stress and stress can lead to resentment. And when people aren't helping out or doing their share, you can get ticked off about it and that's no good. So, you know, take a moment to delegate to the degree that you can. And if you need help at home, ask your mate, your partner for help. If it's at work, if you're doing more than your fair share, you need to communicate that somehow and get additional support for yourself. But this is about, uh, feeling perhaps stressed out and overburdened working hard. So let me take a look at the cards. This is really a wonderful spread for you, Scorpio, you know, and it's starting with, with the very current position where you are is this desire for a happy family, 10 of cups, happiness and joy and abundance and appreciating all the good within your life. And what's crossing you is this, the desire to manifest and to create, maybe you're on a path to create this relationship and to get this, to get married to have children, to have a family. And in your foundation, it's just right on your mind, these opportunities for love with these cups coming through, the ace of cups, a blessing or gift from the universe with the offering of love. And then the 10 of pentacles. So thinking about family and finances and security and prosperity, happiness at home, Whatever you're going through, you have the inner strength to make it work, to reach your goals. You may be, um, you may face adversity, but you have what it takes to, to make it through. So long as you recall and, and remember to be, to handle the situations with a sense of grace and with a sense of gentleness versus trying to force the situation again for your manifesting and for creating this is success of writing and writing into town, being recognized for your good works, your good efforts, and really reaching your goals. Two of cups comes through again, this offering of love. You're, you're really focused on this in December and there are opportunities for you out there. Keep your eyes open. Uh, you have to be willing to receive it and to bring it into you. And again, more creation, manifestation, whether it's relationships, whether it's different avenues for creativity. 
it's right there and then we have reinforcement from the queen of cups saying uh, go forth feel the love find the love and um, trust your instincts trust your intuition and then at all that it's maybe the, all the love seems like a lot of work sometimes it is so with this ten of wands just be mindful to try not to do everything yourself to delegate when you can don't um, don't overburden yourself because then you might resent your environment or your situation so lovely lovely reading let's get a little more information on love since that seems to be really coming through for you Scorpio it's the card happiness we see the couple here and within the uh, little heart and there everything is just beautiful this is a beautiful card of happiness and of things working out so uh, you know I just uh, I think that's fantastic and then finally to close the reading we're gonna pull a I believe it's the goddess guidance card and we'll get a sense of an area to focus on or to work on peace there's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully so you know trust trust the situation trust yourself trust your intuition trust in the signals that are being sent to you and you will find I hope what you're looking for this is a fabulous you know peace there's a lot of peace actually just finish this up here there's a lot of peace with this ten of cups a lot of peace in a happy happy family so I hope that you have an amazing December uh, with warmth and love and joy and uh, I wish you the very best so if you enjoyed this reading please like share or comment and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing it's a great way to stay connected and click on the little bell notification so that you don't miss any of my free weekly monthly or daily readings and I'm very grateful that you took the time to watch this thank you so much and again many blessings to you in December take care bye bye